Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. More do re me. I have no idea what is gonna happen this episode. I don't even remember what really happened in the last one, but we're going for it. So first, story, toying. Hey Morgan, I'm a student of Gawa. What does that even mean? Ah, you've come to dispel the trumpet's curse. I wonder how, oh. I feel like that probably wouldn't make that sound. I'm not sure any horn is capable of having that many pitches just by blowing it, but maybe this guy is magical. The magical musician. We'll need to use the trumpet later on. Try hitting a twinkling spot with a bubble. Can't wait to see what happens. And bye. Great. What was the point of that? I have no idea. I don't know if this is a level or more exposition. The way that this game kind of sets up. Okay, that's an enemy. <laughs> Very unclear of what are enemies and what are not enemies. That's okay. We're starting off on the right foot. That's the one thing that this game does a little poorly. Not entirely sure what I can land on. What is a platform? What will kill me? All of the above. Oh, it's a frog. <laughs> the frog. Okay, great. That's really tough to time. Okay, so being very careful here, just gonna spam the the bubbles. I thought that the lily pads here were not part of the set design, so I did not bother. It's a different colored frog. Okay. Somehow I'm on that platform. Okay. This frog looks very wise, but also very dangerous. Maybe we can bust through this with our crazy bubble powers. Oh. Oh. Pfft. That was just it respawning. I thought it was referring to that thing that we could. Okay. Great. Great start. Doing really, really well. Okay. So let's go ahead and try this for the first time. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, these, oh, there's pants in there. We like that. Oh, look at this animation, how cute it is. That's very adorable. I love it. Get back here, pants. There's safety when you wear more pants. Yeah, basically just gonna spam the the swim slash bubble button out of self-preservation all right there was the red frog up here I'm gonna try to get another whack at him I don't know if there's anything of value in here oh oh the I don't know why that surprised me like oh man this frog's jumping at me and that's what frogs do okay oh Something's happening. Mouton is very unsure of it, but can we... Okay. So I'm assuming that maybe that little knob that we slobbed on just down there whoop, might be... Oh, that was close. Connected to the spot we saw earlier. This one. But I don't know. And I'm probably wrong, because that is usually what's right. Okay. Oop, excuse you, sir. Oh, I was right. That took down this wall. Oh, don't you do it, game. I thought the game was, was about to take away my pants. Would not have vibed with that. so strange, but I love it. It's so strange in like a weird way. I guess that's a really, really redundant and kind of pointless statement. But I guess what I'm trying to say, if I have a moment to clarify viewers, please get off my back. It's weird in a way that's kind of like charming. I don't dislike it. Sometimes weird. And I feel like weird is a subjective word, unfortunately. Weird usually has a negative connotation. But in this case, I'm referring to it in a kind way. Can I bubble you? Yes, thank you. Burp. Burp. Ooh, 
Oh, thank goodness. That's a lot slower than I was expecting it to be. Okay. Let's see if we can clear the gap once the water falls out of the way. Nice. There's a lot of backtracking that I'm doing right now. I don't know if any of this is worth it or if this is just a quest for pants. Ooh, there's a bee! I probably do need that, actually. I don't think I need to find any more of the star collectibles, thankfully, so... And it's fine to do this. Because we're gonna hopefully be taking on the boss in this level. Hopefully not taking eons to fight it like we did with the, the weird card magician guy. That was miserable. Oops. Okay. Great. <laughs> I landed on him. Ooh, we can blow more bubbles. I don't remember what this does. I think it just extends the distance at which bubbles will be spat. Ooh, there's underwater pants. Those are gotta be so soggy. Okay, now I'm gonna go get them. <laughs> yeah, when things respawn, they have that weird little, uh... Little bubble. Also, I love uh, Mulan's face when you get new pants. Like, look how excited he is for green pants. Very excited. Also, that frog sound effect sounds more like a pig. When I was a when I was a youth, I had a family dog, and she was wonderful. She was a great great pup for 15 years, and uh, she had a toy pig thing that which I think actually still exists, like not the exact one, but a similar one that my nephew loves. And it is very annoying and she would love it. It would go arr, 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 and it would run around the house and shake its tail. All right, this sounds like a boss. So this is probably what the rest of the video is going to be like. Probably gonna do really poorly here. Oh boy. I already don't like the look of this. Oh, it's a lady. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> what? Why does she have- Oh, is this like the Lady of the Lake? The Lady of the Lake, yeah. It kind of makes me think back to- I, A long time ago- A long time ago, I did that Fire Emblem Let's Play. The Super Nintendo one, the Japanese exclusive one. Oh, she's a frog now. And you could turn in a certain axe. Oops. Turn in a, sil a silver axe and get yourself a golden one. Was that it? Really? Okay, I mean that was like 50 times easier than the last one. So whoever Elena is, frog who was temporarily a princess? I don't know, old woman. Please give me an instrument. Make sure you say this to the elderly. Old woman, please give me an instrument. Oh. Little comic relief. So we get the ocarina. Ooh, she spit it at us. That's kind of rude. Yeah, that boss fight was weird. Um, you sure are a mean old lady. Yes! We have to go dispel the ocarina. Stage four, complete. I was expecting this to take a lot longer. Apparently not. Okay. Ooh, Ice World. All right, well, this video is barely eight minutes, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do one level of Ice World. Should be some exposition first, maybe? Yes, here we go. Mimi. You're, you're Maiton? My name is Mimi. My father wants to meet you. Please, this way. No grammar. No time to wait. So oh boy, everybody knows who we are now. So another technique that we're gonna learn, if you see a twinkling spot, shoot it with a bubble. Then a block will appear. Okay. So much like the, <laughs> I, I love this, how frantic it looks. Much like getting trapped in bubbles, if we get frozen, we can free ourselves. If you get stuck, come back here. So we will be dealing with some ice physics, as you all love those. Let's go ahead and give the first level a try. Looks like a snowman made of charcoal on the far side awaits us. Ooh, yes. Can already feel the ice physics in there. Oops. 
okay. Yeah, this is, oof. These are, this is gonna be rough. Okay. If you could please come back. I at least enjoy the music. That's cool, music's good. Can I, excuse me? What are these things, like rats or something? Snow rats, is that a, is that a common creature? In frozen tundras, little snow rats? Sounds like kind of an inappropriate thing, like, ah, oh, you're just a little snow rat. Always hitting the slopes. Okay, great. I don't think my... I just need to, like, be... There we go. Ooh, there's the... The Dispel Star, which we will need to grab. Also, the Slippery Ice animation is adorable. It's one thing this game definitely has going for it. Animations are wonderfully done. This song kind of makes me think of, like, Peter and the Wolf. It's kind of repetitive, but... I will allow it. Okay. Gotta deal with this pang. Oh, oh, come on. You know what? You know what? I've had enough of you. So I think the star was this way, if I remember correctly. Bye. Watch out for the... Oops. I don't know what else I expected to have in there. Okay. I don't know how to get this to fall without it murdering me. Yeah. Okay, so it's not all of them. It's just the last two. As you'd expect. Oops. Oh, man. My butthole went full pucker on that one. I thought I lost. All right. Oof. Yeah, this is a little uh, precarious. But we got to get the star. It's part of the job. It'd be really rude if the stalactites... Oops. The ones holding tight to the ceiling. Stalagmites are the ones on the floor. If they would come back after you the second time around. I would not put it past this game. It, this game can be rude like that. Thankfully it has chosen... Oops. Oof. Thankfully the game has not chosen violence, which is nice. I do believe there were pants back here. Oh. All right. I'm hitting all the buttons. Thank you. That was adorable, by the way. Another adorable anime. Oh, I missed the pant. Oh, no. I don't really need the pants, but I do. I do and I don't. You know what? Let's go for the pants. You have to... Ugh. I do really like that frozen sprite that they have of him encased in ice. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Uh. This music isn't as bad as, like, the the Bells level, which was just miserably awkward. Oh, there we go. Whew. We're at stage two pants now, so I'm feeling a little better. Oops. These gosh dang penguins. All of them have business. Get out of here. It's a seal, I think. Maybe. Or a walrus. I don't know. For certain. For certain. Why are you here? Huh? What are you, what are you up to? Huh? Who do you think you are? Kind of like not entirely sure. Can I? Oh my gosh, I just want to bonk you. That sounded inappropriate. I just want to bonk. Does anybody say that? Is that a thing? All right, so. At least the game is relatively good at like telegraphing. Oh, that. Is... Oh, that. <sighs> I was just going to say that was rude and then I wasn't going to experience something rude and then I did experience something rude and it was rude. Okay, well, at the very least, we know what to expect, and it is padding this episode out. The seven or eight minutes of initial recording from just the strangest easy boss fight. That was honestly like one of the easiest ones. That's why it makes me when it makes me curious when I play this game is like, am I doing something incorrect? Have I missed something? I don't know. I don't think I did, but I also didn't make this game, so I don't know. And there's plenty of moments as I play through this illustrious title 
Oh, poo on you. Give, give me this. No. Ugh. Oh, everything is not coming up to my plays. I tell you what. Oh, no, no. Game, why are you the way that you are? Why? You don't have to be like this. It's not required. Okay, thankfully we've already come this far, so we know what to expect. Nothing out of the ordinary, thankfully, and we have triple pants. So let's see if we can finish this level on the first try. I believe in us. Seems oddly familiar for us only encountering it once. Oops. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Aww. Poor Myron. He got something sticky in his butt. You don't like that. You need to ask first. Yeah, this is definitely better music than the the bells level music. I don't know who approved that, who was in charge of music direction, was like, you know what? Just some like random kind of spooky side effects, and then the occasional bell ringing every so often. That's that's what the people want. But hey, it was a simpler time, guys. So maybe just kind of back off with your judgment. All right, so let's go ahead and break out of this. Hope you can hear my buttons click clacking. I'm hitting them. It is not doing any more than the game says that it would. I feel like it is a lie. I've been lied to. My dad allegedly going out to buy cigarettes at the store has still not come back, so, hmm. The truth is far from our grasp. Okay. Yeah, it makes that platform disappear, which I don't really care for. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna say poo-poo on you. Watch out for this dumb penguin. Thankfully, the arc of his snowballs isn't enough to cause us any trouble, but the goal is here. We're just gonna walk past it. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. But I didn't. But what I did do is accomplish that boss in the first level of Ice World. I think this is the second to last world of the game. So we're getting close to the end. Thanks for watching everybody. I've been Dean Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays with Do Re Mi. And I'll catch you later. Bye.